I am Colin Okashimo. I'm a sculptor and a landscape architect. There's three parts to my design philosophy and how I approach sculpture as well. First is creating places of contemplation, and that is creating these places of calm. I've been practicing meditation, and I was looking at the parallels between my practice in meditation and how that relates to my practice as an artist. So in this particular Project Five Stones, it's not meant to just be an object, but also meant for people to sit within the work itself. Because I'm trying to create a very meditative, contemplative, reflective environment. The second part is the research. We want to try to understand, obviously, the culture, the history, the environment, even the social aspects. Guangzhou was unique in the sense that we did our research and we looked at a number of different aspects as we do for every location. The first thing we normally do is look at maps. When we looked and researched Guangzhou, there was so many maps. But rather than it just being a two-dimensional form like you would see on a map, was that maybe it'd be interesting to actually walk into a map. Third part, obviously, is how you can amalgamate sculpture and the environment as one. Both are influenced by the practice of meditation as a form of researching the site. And that's the way in which we can make each project not only meaningful, but also have it be memorable. The Victoria Park project, it's a series of stone blocks that have been saw cut. If you look at that work, it is an abstracted topography and riverscape of water and stone, and it basically addresses all of these feng shui aspects. For Singapore, it's quite an honor to get an award from the president. There's a certain credibility and gives you a better platform for you to get your message across to people. My advice to emerging artists would be to find a way to incorporate pause in your day-to-day -day life, to have moments of reflection, meditation, and contemplation, and give you the clarity you need by minimizing your distractions.